Welcome to Inspiring Teachers, a show bringing you classroom tips, motivation, and stories from successful educators. Join Tavis Bean and Danny Hogger as they explore the why of teaching. Oh, welcome to an expiring and inspiring. The only thing expiring is a house contract that I was just talking about, and now it's in the show. I'm Danny Hogger, and welcome to Inspiring Teachers. My co-host, Tavis Beam, is away in his woodworking classroom, chopping up some great projects for future growth for his kids. And today, I'm with Vernon Wright. Man, we've been working on getting this conversation going for a little while, and it's awesome. You have two busy teachers all succeeding in the field of education. You can find them on social media at The Right Leader. We'll put that up on the screen for you. Vernon is electrifying, leader, speaker, Disrupt Ed TV, Edge and Match, so many different things that he does, and he's gracious enough to be with us today. Hey, everybody. Danny Hogger here. Hope you're having an outstanding week. Thank you so much for checking out our show. Are you looking for new and engaging ways to get your students up and moving in the classroom? Get out of the sit and get rut of teaching by checking out AmpedUpLearning.com, a two-teacher-owned and operated company in Texas that is looking to gamify teaching with creative new activities for the classroom. And follow them on social media at AmpedUpLearning for their monthly giveaways, Amazon gift cards, lessons and apparel man supporting teachers while also supporting teachers that sounds like something we could really get behind and don't forget to use that code hogger history 10 to save 10 percent on all items at ampeduplearning.com what a great way to start now let's move on to the show thank you so much for supporting inspiring teachers Vernon, how you doing i am doing phenomenally well man and i just want to go ahead and say that uh it is my pleasure and my honor and my privilege uh, to be here on the show today. You know, for those that are listening and watching, uh, you may not necessarily know this, but uh, we have had to kind of go ahead and work with both of our schedules logistically to make totally. this happen. And uh, please know, folks, that um, we're making it happen today because we care about you and we care about adding value. And uh, that's hopefully what we uh, provide for you today and that we want to uh, share with you. So, yeah. Come join us on the ride, folks. It's going to be a good one, a brief one for now, but it's going to be a great one. That's right, man. It's like every eight DMs, a Twitter gets his podcast. That's going to be the new like Christmas message <laughs> for the new movie, a teacher story. And right. let's talk about your story. So Vernon, I've been following you for almost a year now and really enjoy your posts about teaching and leading in education. Uh, but I don't know anything about how your background and how you got into the field. So could you enlighten us a little bit about your path and how you got here? Yeah, absolutely. And and I will tell you, I get asked that question quite a bit. Yeah. And uh, I never grow tired of uh, sharing that, right? Because here's one of the things I want to say. And if you're a leader out there, uh, even if you're not a leader, Anyone that is watching or viewing this, you need to be prepared to take notes. Take copious notes, right? Dare I say the word copious. Hey, it works. sounds we, so good. Right. We <laughs> might have some uh, scholars out there, right, that are right. into etymology or the meaning of words. But uh, really started out many years ago uh, as a job changer. Uh, some folks may or may not necessarily know this. Uh, I've shared it before a few different times. Uh, my bachelor's degree is in business administration, specifically, specifically, I should say, I want to enunciate, <laughs> it is in the areas of economics and finance. So, um, you know, that's the business side of me, um, worked in corporate America for a good little while and came to a crossroads or a decision point. And uh, really interestingly enough, was considering a few different um, advanced degree options and uh, rather than pursue those, I decided to go into education. And uh, later on, I uh, got into leadership. But uh, I say this and mention this recently to some folks. When I was approached about getting into leadership in education, I ran. So if any of you are fans of the 80s band, The Flock of Seagulls. Nice. Uh, and you remember that they Great had drop. this song yeah. where they talked about I ran. That's so like, far away. That right so far away. That was my theme song back then because I ran from leadership. I just really wasn't uh, interested in it. But how many of you know that uh, you have sometimes people in your life that are in your life for a reason and a season? And I had one of those folks and uh, she stayed with me and she saw more uh, in me than honestly I did it myself at the time. And uh, she convinced me along with some other uh, folks to come together and get me into leadership. And so I uh, did that for a while. Of course, got my master's degree in educational leadership, did a few other things. 
uh, at the campus level, mm -hmm. and then had the opportunity to go into uh, district leadership. Been in that, and I have done that for a while, supporting uh, our campuses and leaders and staff members there. What I have been doing also, too, um, for a little while as well, and really that's an extension of all of those things background-wise, is really getting into how I can increase my scale. And uh, those of you that follow me, you know that there are three tenants that I talk about quite often amongst uh, the few other things that I talk about, right? And those three tenants are connect, impact, and scale. And if we don't have time enough to cover those today, maybe we'll come back and we'll cover those another time. But I uh, got into uh, working with good folks at Disrupted TV, Edumatch, mm -hmm. uh, Nohea Kindreds, and several other folks. And uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful journey. And it is just starting, folks. So uh, if you're not connected, get connected into the information uh, that we're providing and sharing. And uh, we always want to provide value. Yeah, man, it's a wonderful thing. And I was saying right before we got started, how wonderful a time it is to connect and scale. A time where you can share things in a millisecond across a variety of people who that message could help and lift up. That's amazing. I mean, that's such a cool, cool time, unlike any other. You know, I, I enjoy this this teaching endeavor that, that Tavis and I are on, him at a woodshop class, me at high school teaching history. And just so grateful that at the drop of a hat, I can find you the answer to the question that you have. And even better, give a student a card and say, here's a point of extra credit. You look up the answer. You let us all know. And we'll be better for having you as a student in this room today. And you join me in the teaching. You know, it's a, it's a team mentality. And that's what I got from listening to you speak and listening to some of the other podcasts that you've done. And I thank you for sharing the information about your journey. And what do you think that your why is each day for going in and the message because you have such a, a positive uplifting message what what is your motivation behind it Vern? man just thank you so much again folks if you're not connected to this podcast and somehow somebody referred you to this podcast i'm telling you this right now connect to this podcast right now great content that uh, you all are producing and i again just absolutely grateful and thankful for the opportunity to share uh, with your audience because you guys have reach, you have substantial reach and, and definitely we respect that. For me, you know, my brand, as some folks may know, is, is really what has um, come to be known as uh, hashtag zero apology zone. Right. That's, yeah. uh, the, right. The zero apology zone brand, uh, of course, created and founded by me, the right leader. And really, folks ask me quite a bit, you know, zero apology zone. What is that about, right? Yeah. And you may be wondering, what in the world does, a, does an apparel brand have to do with your why? I created, and some folks may or may not necessarily know this, but I created the brand as an extension of really who I was and really who I am identity-wise. And one of the things that I have been a staunch advocate for, right, is this. I've been a staunch advocate for those that did not have a voice. And also, too, for those that had a voice, but they were afraid to speak. And one of the things that I always promised myself uh, many moons ago was if I had the opportunity, the privilege, the capacity, the ability, the platform to go ahead and speak on behalf of those that didn't have a voice and those that had a voice but were afraid to speak, that I would do that. And uh, it's kind of interesting how Zero Apology Zone came about because uh, one of the things that uh, I used to say all the time uh, as kind of an ending tagline is, I would say whatever the statement is, and then I would say dot, 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 and with zero apologies or with mm -hmm. no apologies. Cool. And so that's really how the Zero Apology Zone brand got started. And I uh, just want to go ahead and say to everyone this, you're a brand already. But do you know what your brand is saying? That's really cool. You're Very a billboard cool. already. Do you know what your billboard is saying? Yeah, it's what's great about that. And I encourage everyone to go to Teespring and check out the Zero Apology Zone store. It's some really cool stuff. And it is very, it's very clear branding and it's very well done. Um, what, I, what are the differences between me at year five and me at year one is the realization that when you're teaching something, like expressing the message of who you are and what the brand is, 
are you being explicit with it? I used to think that because I am intentional about what I'm trying to teach. I don't need to expressly say the purpose or the learning target or the success criteria. I don't need to say it. They'll get it. And yes, yeah, some of the kids are going to pick up on it. But for the rest, did they really know what you're trying to communicate today? If you don't flat say, and which tells you the lesson, which is you know, after you finish teaching something and what I've realized this year and continue to realize more and more confirmed by what you're saying is own it, you know, and, and share that and let everyone know what you're about and be proud of what that is. Don't just do it and assume people are thinking it. Tell them, you know, so that's yeah. And, point. and I, and I think, and that's phenomenal, just absolutely great points. And so if you're watching this, you're listening to this right now and you're saying, you know, Hey guys, this is great. What are some next steps that I can take? What are some things that I can think about and, and really uh, reflect on to self-assess my own capacity in real time? Mm-hmm. Number one, I would tell you this, and, and it's just like you said, brother. I mean, great stuff. I'm, I'm a guest on this show, but I'm enjoying it and learning from and you're you once well. It's like you're reading the questions ahead. You're one <laughs> step <laughs> right. forward from where I'm going each time. Hey, awesome. man, it is great, man. I think we call that synergy. Yeah, right? it's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, we call that stuff. synergy. Uh, and number one is this. It's authenticity. And it's just like you said, you know, when totally. you're really in the zone and anyone totally. that is taught, and when I say taught, uh, whether you've been in a formal academic educational setting or not, or, you know, even if you have just taught someone uh, how to do something that is very normal to you, how to do a process or a procedure, when you've taught that, you've been authentic. You've been your authentic self, yeah. whether that was serious or funny or whatever it was. So number one is be authentic. Ask, your, ask yourself if you're authentic. The same thing is this, or the second thing I should say is this, when you're conveying an idea, And by the way, folks, that's what teaching is, conveying ideas from one person to another. When you're conveying that idea, are you conveying it in the simplest way possible? And I'm going to share with you all what a mentor shared with me many years ago. And if you all do not have mentors in your life, you need to get some, right? And that's what is great about a PLN. You can reach out to folks and have folks uh, mentor you. I have a mastermind group. Some folks may not necessarily know what a mastermind group is. If you don't, you can Google that, look that up. If you do, from a book many, many years ago called Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, and he goes into what a mastermind group is. But one of the mentors in my mastermind group um, shared this with me. He asked me one day, he said, when you watch the World Series or you watch the Super Bowl or, or any other championship athletic event, He asked me, he said, what are you seeing? And I said, well, you're seeing the elite. I mean, the best of the best. Right. I mean, people who have dedicated absolutely years of their lives to this calling, right? You would think that that would be the end. I mean, typically, right? Typically a good answer. And he looked at me and he said, "That's, that's true. That's good, Vernon. He said, but there's another level to that, a much deeper level. And I was getting ready to be prepared to... Uh, hear him speak to something deep like on the level of nuclear physics or something, right? Yeah. Uh, or yeah. quantitative theory or That's something, right? right? Mm-hmm. And here's what he said. And it was, it was complex and is complex, but yet it is so very simplistic. And it's this. He said to me, he said, anytime you see someone at the highest levels of performance, you are seeing someone who is a master of the fundamentals. Nice. Let me say that one again. When you see someone that is at the highest levels of performance in whatever the calling is and whatever the area is and whatever the sector is, he said, you're watching and you're seeing someone who has mastered the fundamentals. So here's my question for you. Have you mastered the fundamentals? And when you're teaching, are you communicating the fundamentals? Let's not go to the complex before we go ahead and master the fundamentals and communicate. That's great. Ah, I love it, man. Thank you for sharing that. You're giving a lot of good practical tips for us here. Before we get out of here, I know we both have meetings. Love the fact that you threw the word authentic. It's up there on the wall. And so is everything here in in terms of who I am. So one tip I want to leave people with is uh, get to know the stories of the people around you. 
understand the authentic them and you will get better relationships, whether it be with students, staff, or admin. I think that's a big step towards us all working together in this thing. Vernon, before we go, I got to thank you and I want you to tell everyone where they can find you. Besides on Twitter, at The Right Leader, which you always daily give good stuff, just like you did. And I know we'll talk again. What do you want to leave the people with today who are watching this? Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can find me at the at sign, the right leader. As well, you can go ahead and find all of my branded apparel on my online store. Simply go to the right leader dot com. Fantastic. And so absolutely privileged and pleasure to be on your show today. Hey, man, absolutely. We'll do it again. We absolutely will have you back. And for everyone else out there, we're grateful to have this information. We're grateful to Vernon for his time. Until next time, the bell is about to ring. So we're going to dismiss you for the day. Feel free to check into the Hogger History Store on Teach Bay Teachers or Amped Up Learning. And hey, check out Danny Hogger Music while you're at it because you need some grading music, don't you? Some just some relaxing, enjoyable grading music. Until then, see you next time. For Tavis Beam, I'm Danny Hogger. We'll see you on Inspiring Teachers. 